Welcome to this GamblingSites.org how-to video. Today, we'll be providing you with our beginner's guide to blackjack strategy. This video is aimed at beginners who may be intimidated by those bizarrely colored strategy cards. This strategy isn't perfect, but it will give you better odds against the casino than just playing off your hunches. First, let's talk about what blackjack players mean when they say basic strategy. This is just a phrase that means the mathematically correct way to play. While it sounds scary, there are fewer possible situations than you might think in blackjack. The dealer is only going to have one of 10 possible up cards when it comes to value, an ace or somewhere between a two and a 10. Your possible hands can be divided into three categories, 10 possible hard hands, seven possible soft hands, and nine possible pairs. Basic strategy is knowing what to do when you're dealt a hand and facing one of the dealer's 10 possible up cards. The first decision to make is whether or not to split. You can only split your cards if you're holding a pair. If you are holding a pair, remember these rules. Never split fours, fives, or tens. Always split aces and eights, and split any other pair if the dealer's up card is between a two and a six. That's it. Learn these rules and you're a third of the way finished with learning beginner's basic strategy. The next step is to determine if your hand is hard or soft. A hard hand has no aces, or if your hand has an ace that can only be used as a one in order to avoid busting. Soft hands always feature an ace and are where that ace could be used to count as a one or an 11 without going bust. In general, you'll play soft hands more aggressively than your hard hands since you have a smaller chance of busting on a soft hand. If you have a hard hand, you'll follow these rules. Always stand on any hard total of 17 or greater. Always hit on any hard total of eight or less. If you have a hard total between 12 and 16, stand against a dealer up card between two and six and hit against anything else. If you have a hard total of 10 or 11, always double down. Hard total of nine, double against the dealer up card between two and six and hit against anything else. If you have a soft hand, you'll always hit if the total is 15 or less. You'll always stand on a soft hand of 19, 20, or 21. If the soft total is 17 or 18, double down against the dealer up card between two and six and hit against anything else. The reason for playing like this is because you always assume the dealer has a 10 as their hidden card. Since over 30% of the cards in the deck are worth exactly 10 points, far greater odds than for any other individual total, it's a safe assumption to make and what you have to base your strategy around. Two other options to consider or not consider. You should never take insurance. It's a sucker's bet even when you're using the full basic strategy. Only by counting cards can taking insurance be considered a profitable play. Second, the surrender play. You'll only surrender in one specific situation. If you have a hard total of 16 and the dealer has a 10 showing. Here's why. The dealer almost certainly has an ace or a 10 in the hole, giving them a likely total of 20 or 21. Even if they don't, the odds are good that the hidden card is worth seven points or more, which beats your 16. But hitting on a hard 16 almost always turns into a bust, which means you'd lose. But if you surrender, you forfeit half of your bet and get to keep the other half. In return, you bow out. Mathematically, you'll fare better surrendering in these circumstances than staying in the hand. Make sure to check out our article titled An Introduction to Blackjack Strategy for more. We have plenty of additional videos and articles for you to make sure that you are the best blackjack player that you can be, including more within the Blackjack for Beginners section. So make sure to check out GamblingSites.org for even more on the game.